Simon Neal have devised what to me is a new experiment for Halloween. It's something that involves the use of Neil's cauldron. So here it is. This is a hemispherical analyzer from an old XPS machine. So XPS is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Neil has salvaged this piece of metal and added legs to it. So he's made his own witch's cauldron. And we're going to do a reaction in it that really is going to <laughs> boil and bubble. There are a few steps to this. Uh, the first stage is actually to set up the lumps of charcoal. So we need to create our own little barbecue in Neil's lab. So Neil's constructed a small barbecue, a little grill, and he's got pieces of charcoal that he's made himself. The cauldron is filled with liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen boils 13 degrees centigrade above liquid nitrogen. That's at minus 183 degrees centigrade. And as always, you can see that the liquid oxygen has a nice, slight blue colour to it. And the reason it's dangerous is that it's very concentrated oxygen and therefore it can make things burn very dramatically. And I was really quite worried about this experiment because I had seen cotton wool reacting with liquid oxygen and you may have seen it on one of our videos. Poof! And then we've also tried reacting charcoal with gaseous fluorine, F2, and that bursts into flames pretty dramatically as well. So I was quite worried about what would happen when you dropped red hot charcoal into liquid oxygen. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful reaction. So, so pretty. You can actually see that it started out glowing red hot and then it was kind of orange and it was getting hotter and hotter as the reaction progressed and so by the end of it that small lump of charcoal that remained was actually glowing white hot because it was that hot in there. It's giving out a huge amount of heat. You can see the charcoal is glowing really red hot so it means that the reaction is going quite fast but it swims around on the surface almost peacefully. And I think the reason is because the charcoal is so hot, it is not actually in contact with the liquid, but is floating, as it were, on a cushion of oxygen gas. Rather the same thing that happens if you drop water onto a hot metal plate. It runs around, but it vaporizes quite slowly. So what you're actually seeing is the reaction of charcoal with oxygen in what turns out to be quite a nice controlled way. Definitely go again. In some ways, it's a much more satisfying reaction than an explosion, because an explosion happens so quickly that even with a high-speed camera, you only get a f few frames. But with this reaction, you see it skittering around, and you have time to think about what's happening. And anything that makes you think is good. But look at what the mist is doing. Yes, that's it, exactly that. That's what we wanted you to film as well. Hang on. You never get bored with this. Well, I think his cauldron is really rather fun and it might be quite interesting to try reacting some other things with um, liquid oxygen or other liquid gases. It'd be quite fun to try filling it with liquid ammonia, but then we'd have to do it in a fume hood or the whole building would have to be evacuated.